Oh, there's a bunny. We need to, uh, we need to scan that thing. Nice. So if you guys find yourself with a broken anomalous bunny on your hands and you don't know what to do with it, this is what you do with it. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to see if we can find our way into the mid zone. That is our main goal uh, for this episode. But before we get started, uh, if you guys find yourself enjoying this video, please take a moment, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so um, I got some news in uh, this episode, and moving forward, I have obtained an Xbox controller. And uh, I am going to um, use that to drive the car. Now, I don't like to use gaming controllers for walking around. So we'll continue to use the mouse and keyboard for when we're out of the car. Um, I don't really like to use them for, like, you know, FPS games and stuff like that either because I just never got comfortable with them. But for driving and controlling a vehicle, I do uh, prefer a controller. Because uh, it kind of, you know, gives us that analog control instead of the digital control. So I'll probably be a little bit clunky with it at first. I did take it out back there and, you know, uh, took the car out back there and went a couple of laps around the little track here um, to uh, test it out. But, you know, we'll get used to it like, you know, anything else. Okay, but before we get started uh, on the mission itself, I have, um, well, first of all, we probably have some some notes to go through. So let's go through those first. As always, I'll put a timestamp. Uh, in the video for those of you who want to skip over uh, the reading. I don't think we'll have a whole lot here, though. So let's see. We've got the Minuteman. Uh, well, I'm very sorry to hear that you find my anger and frustration difficult to deal with, even intimidating. But I wonder if you'd react the same way if any of your male colleagues came to you with similar complaints or dissatisfaction. I've been on hold for two hours, and I'm calling to warn you of a new danger. That is very much in everyone's interest to know about. Do you understand? No, listen to me. Write this down. You're seeing more and more anomalies capable of electrogenesis, uh, producing electric energy like an eel or a ray, but at remarkable levels. This is enormous, uh, enormously dangerous, and I don't care about what secrets Arda wants to keep. This is about people's safety, their lives. This has nothing to do with me trying to muscle in on research or put myself back on some half-assed program. It's about you idiots understanding the risk you're hiding from people. Now let me send this data through. Oh, you want to talk about theories? How are you on limb wave interpolation or Patel's theory that are to have twisted half the peninsula into some kind of Klein bottle where the inside is now the outside as well? Or do you want me to put, uh, or do you want to put me through to somebody who is actually interested in making things happen? Okay. So the Minutemen are those, those ceramic insulator thingamadoodles that pop out of the ground and, you know, transfer electricity from one to the next. Um, I, I, I like these stories, but I wish the stories would be a little bit more clear on on the anomalies themselves. Some of them are more clear than others, but this one, uh, as far as I can tell, hardly tells us anything about it. <laughs> anything practical, I should say. Um, anyway, okay, so did we already read the crackling caller? I'm, uh, crawler, rather? I don't, think, yeah, I don't think we did. Let's read this. Hey, Jill, so we've been through the latest batch of tests, and almost everything is negative. You're right that this thing does respond to ground vibration and clearly senses nearby movement. But beyond that, there's no reaction to any other kind of stimulus. Not light, not sound, not radiation, not any kind of changes in atmosphere, humidity, nothing. The best I can suggest right now is that its behavior is kind of territorial, often attacking anything it senses is close. Wait, not that I'm saying this, is, this thing is displaying intelligence, it's just some kind of chemical reaction. We're still saying that they aren't intelligent, right? And uh, anyone even begin to figure out what these things might be made of yet? Okay, so this is a little bit more information because it does tell us that it tends to um, react to vibrations on the ground. Um, so this is that that big heap of electrical energy that you know kind of just crawls around on the ground. 
and the and the Minutemen, you know, the little electrical insulators pop up behind it and kind of form like a little chain of electricity. It's just really bizarre. Uh, okay, we got a new thing, a zone stabilizer. Um, it is reassuring to know we at least have some ability to temper this particularly demented flavor of meteorology, meteorology that blights our atmosphere. The energy demands are truly monstrous, and the infrastructure we have had to construct and reconstruct is an engineering achievement in itself, but we have been successful. We have all but perfected the zone stabilizer. Perhaps now we will no longer be quite as subject to its whims. I believe that correctly activating stabilizers, whoops, <laughs> Jesus, stabilizers will now create gateways though it will also precip precipitate dramatically dangerous zone storms. I'm going to slow down here. I'm tongue-tied. It is important that nobody uses or modifies these devices without explicit authorization. So those are those tower things that we we turned on in the last episode and barely got out of there with our life. So I don't think they quite worked as well as uh, they thought they did. That's why I named the last episode the zone unstabilizer because <laughs> that's exactly what happened okay so that gets us caught up on the reading now we should have a little bit of power uh, to do some research with how much do we have oh yeah we got 5.2 thingamadoodles okay so um it's a matter of deciding what's the next highest priority we've got steel panels and off-road tires on the car uh, I, I still think we should always prioritize the car first we could do steel bumpers for the car and get rid of these crude bumpers. Um, but let's you know, let's just look and see what we got. It would be nice to do something in the garage for more storage because I'm kind of running out of storage. Oh, uh, there we go. Expanded locker. Okay, in order to do that, we need to... Yeah, that's exactly what we, what we need. Expanded lockers. Okay, cool. Um... But first thing we need to do is we need to learn the matter deconstructor, which will allow us to break things down, which is going to be useful. Um, and we need two gears to do that. So let's do that first. We'll come over here and make ourselves a couple of gears. Uh, devs, you're probably not watching m my playthrough, but in case you are, it would be really damn nice to have a search um, function here. Just saying. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, gears are going to be here, right? Yep. There we go. I mean, this is not really a search function, but it is kind of a filter, so it's 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 no, it's not that bad. But I'm the kind of person that likes to just type something in to search it, you know, in these games, so it would still be handy. Okay, let's make this. Okay, we'll pick this up, and it looks like a, they want us to put it right here. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It replaces like that whole junky counter. I love it. All right. So it's kind of like a grinder. Um, here, let's um, let's see what dumpster has. I haven't checked it since I logged back in. Oh, I guess it doesn't have a damn thing for us. Okay, uh, we can. These things always respawn every time I log back into the game. So it's kind of like it's just a constant little small supply of plastic circuits and um, wiring. So that's good. Um, this thing does not respond, though, unless we leave the zone and come back later. Okay, so... Um, is that... That's a steel door. Man, I don't want to scrap that, but you know what we could do? Which of my doors is the most damaged? I, I mostly repaired the car. It's at uh, overall at 92%, as you can see there. But I'm just really low on chemicals, you know, for making more putty. So what we could do is find our most damaged door. Um, it might be... I think it's probably the hatch. Um, so let's do this. Let's let's take this off for a second and put it down there. And we'll pick up this door. Okay. And and the reason I did that, by the way, is because there's another thing that we can make in here, which we will if we have enough power. 
um, that will repair these automatically. In fact, you know what? Let's do that next, just because um, it'll save us on putty, right? Uh, I just don't remember where that was. I definitely add a new storage locker. So this is, doesn't make the existing ones bigger. It just allows us to add another one. Okay, let's come back to that. I want to find that other thing. Now, this would be good too. Upgrading cars is one thing, but now it's time to spend a few of those own resources. Yeah, so this will allow us to upgrade our own backpack, which we should do. I mean, we should do all of these, right? <laughs> but uh, where is the thing that repairs your shit? Is it this? Ingenious limb technology and advanced spectromechanical acoustics are used to repair car components stored in this station while you're out on a drive. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. Uh, matter generator. Let's make it. Okay. And I guess we put this right next to the the other thingy. I love how they do this. This is cool. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like a freaking stereo system with a keyboard and reel-to-reel -reel tape. Wow. Crazy. Okay, so what we can do then is take this damaged door here and stick it in here. And it should repair it over time. I think it, it doesn't do it instantly, though. I think it, like it was saying in the description, we have to come back later. But this will save us on, like I said, I'm having to repair things as much with putty. And maybe there's even an, a better repairing solution later. So what we could do is, um, here, let me look in here again. Okay, we, we, we can place another door in there. So why don't we grab, I think this was the next, whoops, most damaged door. So let's put this in here. Okay. Um, and those two things will start to repair and then what we'll do is we'll just make a new steel door to put on here fan frickin tastic man okay so now we also have a fairly damaged uh, panel that panels in good shape the hoods in good shape that panels in good shape so it looks like we, we only have one now we have a couple. Okay, so let's take this panel off here. And we'll put it in here. Actually, no, here, let's put it there. Okay. Um, do I need to, like, turn this on? No, I don't think so. I think it just does its thing. And then the other panel was this one. put it in here that one wasn't damaged quite as much okay so now we need to make two panels steel panels and another one excellent okay that door uh, okay now let's do let's do bumper next so we want to go to here yeah steel bumper or do we lead plated anti corrosive you know what there was an there was this Where did I see that? This is the thing, the lightning rod that charges the battery. Um, but I thought we had a, yeah, this thing. The auto parker. No, this. Yeah, the limb pulse emitter. So this is a, oh, we can't do it. We need to scan a bunny anomaly. Okay. But what this will do is it'll prevent 
or at least reduce the abductors from grabbing the car, you know, and maybe even the bunnies from sticking to the car. So we need to try and get a bunny scanned ASAP. What does this do? Jump jacks. These are nothing to do with aerodynamics and everything to do with brute force. Jackhammer-like power will make your car airborne for a brief moment, but be aware that this was not designed with consideration for either comfort or safety. My question, though, is does it shock absorb you when you're landing, or do you just take the full damage? Because if that's the case, then why the hell, right? Um, this Savi device may seem cheap and crude, but it's precisely calibrated to detect nearby resources and raw materials. Uh, the Auto Parker. Right arm getting tired, rudimentary weight and motion sensors below the driver's seat will automatically engage and disengage the parking brake. Truly, this is... The, oh, okay, so we can just jump out of the car without having to put the brake on. That's kind of cool. An ion shield. Man, there's so much cool thing. I don't want to spend a lot of time in this episode reading through all this stuff, though, but... Um, oh, what if we get a new engine? So... Oh, look at that, man. Okay, so this engine, this is a significant upgrade. The carbureted engine has 400 health. It gets 18 miles to the gallon and 128 horse. This has 500 health, 14 miles to the gallon, and 196 horsepower. An eight-cylinder custom-crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharger, electronic multi-point injection, improved compression ratios, and a stainless steel exhaust manifold. We're doing it. Oh, shit, though. You know what? If we do this, we're going to use up all the rest of our power. <sighs> I, okay, let's let's not do that quite yet. Let's not do that quite yet. I'd like to finish my racks on the car. Um, so we need steel sheet. Steel sheets for all of these, except for... What is this? This is the... Another roof rack. How much power are these going to use? A decent amount. Um, if we do all four of them, it's probably going to use all the rest of our power. So why don't we, why don't we do the other side rack at least? We'll kind of just you know do these a little bit at a time as we go along. Okay, so go back to racks. Let's do the final side rack. Oh, I gotta hold the button down. Okay. And we'll install this over here. Now, if we go with the lightning rod thingy, how much power is that gonna cost us? Only a half a thingy? Okay. Um, let's make it. Oh, I guess that's a blueprint. So what this will do is it'll help charge our battery for us. and But we have to use one of the racks in order to do that. Okay, so we put this over here. <laughs> cool. Okay, I wonder if we're near the, you know, all the electrical charging things like the Minutemen, if that also counts as quote-unquote lightning to charge our battery. I don't know. Um, oh, we wanted a bigger fuel can, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. So let's go back to here. Um, fuel. Oh, this is fuel for the car itself. No, this is it. Yeah, large fuel can. Let's make it. All right, baby. And then what we'll do is we'll go to... Uh, where would we find that? Here we go. Large fuel can. All right. Nice. I already, I believe I already filled the car up, um, in the smaller can. Okay. The bad thing about this, well, it's not a bad thing, but we can't store it up there so we so we have to store um, the fuel can itself in normal storage but that's okay I mean we still have all of this and we have the other two on this side um, all of which I yeah I have emptied out okay great so that's gonna help with our battery charging situation it's gonna help with our fuel situation 
Uh, what do we have left? We have 0.9 power left. Okay, what is the next most important priority? Probably another locker. We just need more steel sheets. Either that or... What is this? Uh, that's the detailing station. You know what? I don't really care about that right now. I mean, we'll do it eventually, but... What is a matter generator? Oh, no, yeah, that's the thing we use for repairing. Okay, so this would give us a bigger backpack, which would be pretty damn useful. Um, all right, let's look at something here. Um, yeah, see, this thing is getting really full. And I already think... Oh, I guess I don't have anything in there. Uh, and this is jam-packed with smaller stuff, right? That's got some of those. I don't even know if I need to be keeping these. I think we could probably just chuck them. But, um... Decision, decision. So to do my own backpack or a locker? I think we should do a locker. Okay, so we need six steel sheets for that. All right, so let's go to hither. We have tons of scrap metal, so it's easy to make steel sheets. All right. Um, that's where you want us to put it? Or is there a place out here we can put it? Oh, there's lots of places we can put it. That's cool. Let's put it right next to this one. Oh my goodness, that's huge! Definitely more slots. I think. Yeah, I think there's more slots in there. I love it. Okay. Well, that's why they wanted uh, six uh, <laughs> steel sheets for that. Okay, we have 0.4 power left. How much does this require? Oh, we got enough to make our own... Backpack. Okay, let's do it. Outfitting station kit. Uh, oh, is this not what I thought it was? I thought this was a backpack upgrade. All right. It's a sewing machine. That's cool. <laughs> All right, what do we do with it? Oh, we use it to make a better backpack. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Power boots. Oh, this is cool. I had no idea we could do, like, extra clothing and stuff in the game. Look at all of this stuff. Fantastic. Okay, so let's... Yeah, let's... This gives us 66 slots and 6... Quick slots. This is this is basically like impact bracers in seven days to die. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's um let's make this backpack because we wh why can't we make this one? Oh, we need something called swamp coral. Okay. Did it? Where did it go? Did it just... I Oh, I guess I guess it put, a, put it on us. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger than what we had before, isn't it? Okay. I think. Does it... It doesn't tell us... Uh, it doesn't tell us what size, but I'm pretty sure that gave us more space. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Okay. Can we also make the boots? Sure. Let's do it. Joy softer and safer landings, courtesy of the power of plasma. Falling resist is 35%. Nice. Did did we put it on? I guess it says installed, right? Wait, did it? We need a, a screen that shows our character, you know. Um, I'm going to assume that it did. Let's test this. 
Oh yeah, we can definitely tell we have the bigger backpack on because I now have six toolbar slots. Um. Okay, where's our... Okay. I'm pretty sure that would have hurt us before. Can we go out this door? Oh, we have to break it open. Um, here, let's do this. Is there more fuel in here? Oh, there is. I've never actually been out here on foot. Because you can't come out here with your car until you start a mission and it opens this door here. Alright, cool. So, let's go, um, where am I at? Let's go back out here again for a second. This is for science, you guys. Very, very important. Yeah, that definitely would have hurt us without the impact bracers or whatever the hell they're called. That's what I'm going to call them as impact bracers. All right, cool. So that probably uses up all the rest of our power. We got 0.1. I don't know, what, what can we make with 0.1 power? Probably nothing. Yeah, I don't think we can make anything with 0.1 power. But... Uh, I think that's a, a good step in the right direction. Uh, these are all lights that we can do later for the car. But yeah. All right, so um, have these guys repaired much at all? Eh, maybe it doesn't happen until we leave because it looks like it's pretty much the same as before. Now, oh shoot, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna also research steel bumpers, but I guess we can worry about that next time. Um, do we have room to put that steel door in here and we we'll make a new one? No, I don't think we can. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna leave this in here. Uh, I guess we could do. Headlights and probably even tires. These tires are so tough, though. That whole entire last mission we did were on these tires. I never had to repair them once. They're just so much better than the you know than the summer tires or the spare tires. But hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we put the lights in here and? Do this one too. <laughs> I love this stereo thing, man. It's just awesome. Okay. And then we'll just make two new headlights. Wait, do I already have a headlight? Uh, if I did, it would be stored in here. We have light bulbs, but not a headlight. Oh, you know what, you guys? We should put these things in the grinder. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow, look at all that shit. That's amazing. <laughs> I wish it would have given us some... Um, I wish it would have given us some chemicals, though. What is this? The future stylings. I think that's probably a cosmetic thing. All right, let's, uh, let's put this one in. These pearls are awesome. Look at all the duct tape. What's that? Burnt orange paint. And then the surfboard. All right. 
Just gonna put this back down here for now. Look at all that shit we got, you guys. Oh, that is amazing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave all of this stuff in here for now. Except for let, we'll take let's take the flare. And the swell of the waves, the surge of the foam, the smell of the salt. If you can't be out there right now, this is certainly a fine reminder of some very good life choices. Put in the detail. Yeah, so we got we need a detailing station before we can do anything with that stuff. Um Yeah, okay, so let's just leave the rest of that in there for the moment. Um because what I'm probably gonna do off camera is, you know, now that we have this expanded locker. Um, you know, do some, you know, just a, a little bit better organization of our stuff. But that's obviously not something I'm going to do on camera. Okay, so I think we've uh, done enough around here. Did we already check this, right? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, are you going to give us something? Nope, he doesn't, he doesn't want to give us anything. Okay. So I never, we never tested... You know, breaking down like just regular stuff, but this thing is what we definitely use the pearls for. Because if you guys watched the last episode, I was trying to break the pearl with my, you know, with uh, with this thing, and it obviously wasn't working. So let's put those down there. Just kind of rearranging things a little bit better in here. Okay, I think we're ready to set out, ladies and gentlemen. So we have full fuel, we have full fuel, and full fuel, and full fuel. So we should, we should not have any difficulty running out of fuel in anytime soon. And ooh, let's, let's test something real quick. I just want to see if this lightning will hit the rod here. So our battery, yeah, our battery's fully charged. So maybe it, maybe it won't hit it if the battery's fully charged. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll see it in action. Sealant kit, elect, um, electrician's kit, a couple of medical thingies. We got extra fuel. Uh, let's make an extra scrapper. And how's our light looking? Yeah, okay. We'll probably be able to just make that on the road. We should, pro you know, until we know for sure how reliable our new lightning rod is. Let's have an extra battery uh, jumper as well. And I think... Oh, I never made new headlights. Let's do that now. Thought I remembered to do that. <laughs> Oops. Oh shit, they put it in my inventory, not in my hand. Okay, so I just made an extra headlight for no reason. Um, uh, we're just going to put it in here. Because the two original ones are in here, you know, getting repaired, so... This kind of reminds me of the, the beating heart anomaly. You know that thing with all the, the green thing with all the speakers and the leaves on it that we, that we found? I don't know. It's just, it's green and it has speakers. That's why. That's why it reminds me. All right. Let's see. So we have something to charge the battery if the lightning rod doesn't come through for us. That's still in reasonably good shape. Um, 
and you know this will be easy enough to remake a vacuum is in at full health and I should be able to fairly easily make a new light out on the road too when the time comes we have our spare tire with us and I think we're ready to go do you have anything to tell us repair car fill tank scrapper yeah we probably should bring some repair putty with us uh, I just I've been really stingy with it though because if we look here so you only have 11 things of chemicals but let's make two of these since they stack okay so we got the repair putty um, 99 we've already visited the dumpster yeah the car is 97% that's good enough the fuel tank is 99% that's good enough um, just because when we pulled back out of there well what the hell we got it right here we might as well fill it back up right there <laughs> okay ladies and gents it is time for us to roll on out of here let's see what we got Mid zone crossing. So. Oh, this is where it wants us to go. You know what, though? If, if we ran up here real quick, we could scan a rabbit, or not a rabbit, a bunny, and that would unlock that other stuff. So let's. Let's do that first. Do I want to do that? No, let's not, because that's gonna that's gonna totally sidetrack us. But how do we get over there though? Hmm. What car abilities? Oh. Matter deconstructor. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, the matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. And dumpster pearls. Outfitting station. Make yourself backpacks and cool boots. Expanded locker. Store more shit. Okay. Um, what is the what does the mission say though? We are car cosmetics. No. Mid zone crossing. Yeah. You've only explored the outer zone at this point. Now it's time to cross into the mid zone. Find a way into the oh, so it's gonna leave it up to us to determine that. Well, I guess what is what's all this shit? Extreme conditions. So there's three extreme conditions, but we don't know exactly what those conditions are. There's no resources. There's lots of fuel. Uh, there's no anomalies at all? Really? That's this thing here. Uh, whoa, what happened? It's a little uh, hurricane-looking thingy. Well, it would seem to me to make sense to go here, or maybe we could go here and then over to here. I'm just not interested in extreme conditions if we don't need extreme conditions or need to go through extreme conditions you know what i'm saying so yeah let's go to this zone here i'm sure we'll find more bunnies later on and then we'll, i just got to remember to scan them um okay I'm going to do a, a save game, too, before we leave at this point. Um, just save all that stuff we just did, so. Alright. Okay, now I'm switching to my controller here. And, like I said, it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to. But I think in the long run... It'll be nicer. So lights are that. That's the D-pad. I would I'd like to get that better engine in here, but we're gonna need to bring home a little more power for that. Uh, either that or just be willing to use up all of our power. Uh, but that engine's a huge upgrade, you know, from what we currently have. Um, all right, so let's see. Yeah, we gotta go here. And A for travel.
train station. Okay. Um, okay, let's stop here for a second. And, and then look at this. Uh, B. No, right, right bumper. Okay. So we have three power thingies here, which is good. Oh, and a lot of loots. A lot of stuff to loot, too. And these two are right next to each other. Okay, so the plan, Stan, is to go into town, loot all this shit here. Um, and the Octobice then, needs oh. different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Octobice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Yeah, we already know that, Oppie. Okay, yeah, so go here, loot like crazy, grab the power here. That's not even telling us where the exit is yet, but it, I guess we'll worry about that later. Because we also want to go over here and grab this power too. So, yeah, let's just follow. Oh, we got a new play thingy. I'm pushing the Xbox controller menu button and it's not doing anything. Oh, there the we go. are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? Uh, there's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now, there's no one to get in our way. <laughs> okay. I'm here. I'm going to switch to... An another one? Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. I'd hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, Oppie, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Boy, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, Oppie. <laughs> An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. <laughs> I love the banter between these guys. <coughs> That's funny. Alright guys, well here's the deal. I'm gonna... <coughs> excuse me, I'm just gonna loot. I'll keep the camera rolling if anything significant happens, but otherwise... um. The plan will be, you know, uh, for us, as soon as I'm, you know, done looting in this area, then we'll move down the road to grab that um, anchor power and then continue from there. Get there. That's the second time one of those things has just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. Um, let's put it in here. We'll take it. I'm very happy to take it. It's just, just bizarre, man. 
Uh, all right, so I'm pretty much finished looting except for this box car over here. And there's another gas station back the other way. I've already looted that this station. So we'll go over to the other gas station. We'll loot it and top off our fuel. Just wonder if there's anything on this trestle over here. And then after that, we'll proceed. All we need to top off there. Um, is this? Yeah. Okay. We got another dumpster here. So far, I've gotten two dumpster pearls. Uh, there's a third one right there. Nice. Let's see if it gives us more stuff. Oh, we got chemicals. That's what I want. Sounds like it. A drug user, huh? I want chemicals. <laughs> that it? Yep, I think that's all he's gonna give us. Cool. All right, let's just um, loot this place. Finally, we will scrap this car. All right, uh, this is what we ended up with. All of this stuff, including two dumpster pearls. I uh, got quite a bit of food. In fact, let's uh, take a couple of these just to top off a little bit. Yeah, I'll take one more. So I got a full stack of food there. I found a couple of the larger rations, but I ended up eating those because it took a little bit of radiation damage. And then this is the rest of our haul here. Oh, I guess we, we found three dumpster pearls in total. Okay, cool. So we'll be able to put those in the uh, deconstructor, whatever the hell it's called, uh, when we get back to the base, which would be great. And I think we're ready to roll on ahead here. Okay, so let's look at our map. Uh, we basically just want to go down this road here, and we'll get this first power thing and then we might this doesn't look like super tr steep terrain uh, so what we might do is come over and grab these two just cross country um, we'll see okay but let's go down this road first get my controller here uh, let's see that's wipers yeah not going to jump the car as usual. I would like to know, though, if those jack thingies... Um, hey, how did my car get damaged? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, or maybe, maybe that's just damage over time. Anyway, I'd like to know if those jack thingies will allow us to land without taking damage. That's one thing be able to shoot the car way up in the air, but what about the landing part, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, okay, here's a, a deal here. Oh, do I have my sodium, or my vacuum? Yeah, I do. Okay. Check this. These usually have a pretty decent amount of stuff in them.
Now, um, let's look at the map here. I'm going to... It's kind of steep up and through there, though, isn't it? Uh, it's still not showing us an exit out of here. Yeah, I think I'm going to just follow the road and then kind of come around uh, at least to here. I'll tell you what, let's put a let's put a thingy here. Uh, a for waypoint. Okay. And then B for back. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty steep trying to go up that way. Oh, there's a bunny. We need to uh we need to scan that thing. Nice. Okay, so hopefully that gives us the uh, the prerequisite that we need to make some of the that other stuff. Um, the thing that's kind of fun to do with these, if there are any tourists around, is throw them at the tourists. But uh, I don't see any around. Let's go check this box car. Oh, um, uh, no, those aren't tourists. There were some back over by the anchor, but I don't want to go all the way back there. Oh, no, there are tourists over here. Okay. So if you guys find yourself with a broken anomalous bunny on your hands and you don't know what to do with it, this is what you do with it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Nothing in there. Axe. There's nothing in there either. What the hell? Hmm. I haven't been over here looting. That's the first time I remember opening a container and it having absolutely nothing in it. I suppose it has happened before, but I don't remember. see a way to get to the front of the car okay let's go back oh we got some plasma energy back up this one has two oh shit didn't hold the back for long enough. Alright, well that didn't hurt too much. Hurt a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so we're just basically gonna... Well, we're gonna follow this road to the waypoint and then see if it's feasible to go across country. Yeah, I think we can do this. Wow, look at that. That's the first time I've seen one of those. Huge, uh, I don't know what the hell you call them, like substation thingy. Yeah, that's what you call them, substation thingy. That's the technical term. This is this is cool with the controller because it's got the rumble on it, you know. So I kind of feel the car. Okay, are we getting close? Yeah, we are. I do wish we had a third-person view. Um, at, at you know, at least from the car, if not while we while we're on foot. Um, I th what is that? That's an off-road tire. I thought I saw something sparkling in here, but maybe not. All right, well, let's grab these since we're here. You get, you get a little more rubber and stuff off these than you do off the summer tires. I'll just 
top off our fuel here. You know, it looks to me like our battery, because it's this little thingy, this little meter right here, and also this 38.3 counter is staying charged. Well, nope, maybe not. It's going down a little bit. Okay. I, I haven't noticed lightning hit that rod, but I'm sure we'll notice it at some time, or at some point. Whoops. Is our first anchor. And we also have another... I guess those are called arc towers. You know, come to think of it, I mean, maybe I never scanned that thing. Because that was way early in the game when, when I was still trying to figure stuff out. Oh, spark tower, not arc tower. Okay. Spark tower, arc tower, smark tower. Got two plasmas out of that deal. Uh, before we grab this, I just want to run over here and look what this thing is. I have to watch out for that abductor. Um, I don't think this is anything. Okay. I notice we don't really seem to have the ability to climb in this game. Like, if, you know, if we come across a ladder or something. The music and sound effects that that plays every time you grab one of those is so ominous. <laughs> uh, okay. And the other... Oh, you dirty rat. Okay. We're going to build that... We're going to build the bumper thing next that makes prevents that bastard from doing that to us. There's a pink car up there. I used to date a girl with a pink car a long time ago. I think it was a... Ford Maverick or something. We're talking like in the 80s, you guys. Yeah, I know I'm old. Um, and she had a pink car, yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's look at our map here. Oh, we're heading right towards it. Okay. It's just kind of froggy out. Oh shit! Freaking tourists, man. You guys are bastards. They were not there when we pulled in. <laughs> There's a ton of them, too. <coughs> okay, so we have looted... Pretty much looted most everything in this place. <coughs> There's another spark tower. Um, but it's not, it's not showing us an exit out of here. That is weird. Unless, here, let's look at this. Is there, like, something beyond that road there? That's where we came. That, I have to assume that there is. Maybe it's just the map's kind of bugged or something. Because, I, I don't, get out of here. Yeah. Put my brake on. I got my parking brake on. Suck it, dude. See, I'm not so easy to pull with my brake on, am I, you asshole? <laughs> um, I'm wondering if the map is a little borked and it's just not showing us, you know, that the exit's right at the end of this road. That's my guess. Let's make sure we're out of range of the spark tower here. Oh, we're gonna watch out for him. Okay.
So let's follow this road to the end and hopefully... Uh, oh, those are my wipers. I'm going, what is that noise? Uh, hopefully it'll lead us out of here. Okay, we found an exit, but it's not an exit. So are we just supposed... I'm confused. Alright, let's turn this off. Aren't we supposed to... Well, we got a storm coming. Travel... Through this zone to get to the next one? Apparently not. Which means we're going to have to leave the old way and use some of our... Our power, which kind of sucks, but is what it is, I guess. Um, doesn't this tell us how much power we have somewhere? Oh, yeah, we have 4.1 4 power. All right, well, whoops. I guess we turn around and head out the old-fashioned way. This is a nice little zone to come in, you know, just to loot. Look how beautiful it is here, too. Very nice. Oh my god, that's a huge tower. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Okay. Alright, we're gonna back up just a little ways further here. Okay. And let's go home. Plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we made it back safe and sound uh, with some extra loots and stuff. How much power do we have? We have. We have 4.2 power. Um. Okay. Let's um. Let's do a couple more things on the car before I let you go. Uh, so we'll transfer all that to there. Just stack whatever can go in here. Uh, I'll worry about inventory management stuff later. Uh, we do want to do our, our pearls as well. I guess we'll just put these in here. But again, I, I don't think I need to hang on to those. Uh, we still have things in here too, don't we? Did I don't remember taking all that other stuff out of there. Does it disappear after a while? Hmm. Okay, let's let's take the paint out because we can put that in here. I, w I wonder if, if you know when we did that crafting that we did, if uh, it pulled from there first. Which if it does, that's kind of cool that it does that. Okay, all that stuff stays in the car. Uh, we have a couple things in here. We have a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, because I don't, like I said, I don't remember pulling anything out of there. Alright, for now, I'm just going to put you guys in there. But let's grab these pearls and see what they give us. that a decal kit animal stripes interesting and that's the batteries all right let's pick that stuff up And, um, 
guess what we can do is pull it all into here. Except for the canned food, the road flares. Um, these let's put in the new locker for the time being until we get that detail station uh, set up. So I'll put this stuff like down towards the bottom for now. Um, all right, do we have room for any more of that stuff? Huh? -uh. All right, so um, let's see. I want to let's put that down. Uh, are these repaired? They are. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll swap those out. Uh, but I, I'll do that later. What I wanted to do is I wanted to make um, this. this okay so let's make that or do we want to make the better engine if we make the engine that's all we're going to be able to make this time but that would be so nice to have that better engine though wouldn't it um we'll have point two you know what let's just do it damn it let's do it we have to make the engine i figured something like that would have popped out of here but i guess not all right um do we have everything we need to make the engine? Turbo light. Oh my god, we need 42 thermosap crystals? I should have known that wasn't going to be so damn easy. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, Alright, well, never mind. I guess that means... See, I thought the engine would just come out of the thing, but I thought wrong, obviously. Um, is there anything we can do for point two energy? That's point five. That's one. Probably not, I'm thinking. Uh, those are tires. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything else is going to require more energy than we can do anything about right now. Okay. Well, at least we know how to make the engine. Um... If I recall correctly, I think we find that thermo sap crystal off of armored cars, but I haven't come across a lot of armored cars. I've come across a few, but not very many. So we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled for that. Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's find the panels that are in the worst shape. And we'll swap them out. Oh. Hold on a sec. Put this down here. Okay, and then we'll put this in here. Oh, that's beautiful. And then that door. I'm not gonna be able to do all of them. Yeah, this one's in pretty bad shape. The hatch seems to take a lot of damage. Um, okay, hold on. Put that. Whoa. Put that down there. Grab this one. Okay, and we'll replace the hatch. And then we can do two panels. Two panels and two headlights. No, I can't do that. Uh, how about this and this. Okay, let's throw that down there for a second. This panel... We should put the panels that are the most damaged in the automatic heal thing. Or repair thing. So probably this one here. And maybe the one on the rear driver's side as well. This is great. I love this thing, man. Um, let's grab these two lights also. Well, we'll grab one light anyway. This one I guess we can put it in our hand. Um, drop both of those for the moment. 
and pick up this good panel. And we were going to also do this panel here. Can we make... I don't think I don't think we can make another one of these. It'd be nice. I don't know why they don't give you enough slots to do the entire car, you know? You'd think they would, but apparently not. Okay, let's get this. Put it in here. And this. Okay, so all that stuff will slowly repair. And then, of course, the rest of the car will have to just repair with putty. But at least we don't have to use, you know, as much putty as we otherwise would. Okay, well, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this episode here. And so, um, you know, for the next episode, we'll... We'll just have to continue on because it doesn't... All it says is find a way to the wall. It doesn't tell us how to find our way um we I, we got to get to there somehow but how i guess i think what see we went where did we go is this where we went damn poor i think that this is where we went right no maybe not because there's not a route out of there this does seem to suggest though if i hover my cursor over it that it links to both of these. So we'll figure it out. It's just, I'm sure it's just a matter of going to whichever one of these junctions will then eventually link to this one. Um, it could even be this one here. I'm not really sure, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, that is it, guys, for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.